All right, we back. We, we back. are back. Uh, you know what I find interesting about Jim Carrey? Welcome to Oni Shukin, where we talk about Jim Carrey. That's what we do here. I love Jim Carrey. Johnny Depp too. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp's cool. Um, I'm a little disappointed whenever he's not Captain Jack, but regardless, yeah. he's had other great roles. Um, oh, well, son of a bitch. Huh. Okay. Uh, okay. So, the, the, so we got one more room. Okay. I think. Okay, so we got one more room. Alright, so let's explore a little bit and talk. And We, we never got to the fucking armory. We didn't get to the... the armory. <laughs> we did not get to the blacksmith. So, uh... I guess we'll go ahead and mess around a little bit while we, while we talk for a second. Um... Jim Carrey, I find it odd that he's, like, never done any sequels. Did you ever... Sleepy Hollow, hold on. That was the movie I was going to say that I really like Johnny Depp in. Uh, really good role. I've never seen it. Headless Horseman? Never seen it. Really? Yeah. Really like that movie. Hmm. What's it about? Um, there's an ancient, like, uh belief going on in the town yeah. and uh basically there's this head headless horseman that keeps killing people of, vi of like very big importance okay dude calm down with your weird dance moves ow come on and uh i don't want to ruin anything but that's basically the concept okay there's a there's a mystery going on in the town and johnny depp's there to save the day cool i like johnny depp yeah jim carrey never plays in the uh, sequel stuff he doesn't like. I think the only one was like the the newest Dumb and Dumber, which I'm pretty sure they had to like pull his leg to get. Which was that. actually the third installment of Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. So know. he didn't play the sequel technically. Technically. Boom. boom. I feel like they put this in here just for you, Knightson. <sighs> boom boom. Um. So question, real question here. If skeletons had a language, what would it sound like? I'd assume like a bunch of chattering, a bunch like of chattering. Just... Can we can we speak in skeleton for like a good portion of this? Yeah. But, but... <laughs> On a real note, maybe it would sound more like this. <laughs> I'm a skeleton. <laughs> Brother, you break a character. <laughs> oh, oh, that's okay. I'm a world famous hot dog God, salesman. I'm pretty sure we're so bad we made Sarah go like violently sick. I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't mean to make you sick. Or maybe it would sound like this. Why do I never whoa, use whoa. that voice? I don't know. You. SpongeBob? That's not SpongeBob. Sounds SpongeBob's like. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <Say> Squidward. <laughs> Fucking hate SpongeBob. Stanley, you need to finish this game, like, right now. I think he's actually pretty close to being done with it. Fucking excellent. Or whatever. All right. This is probably one of my favorite games that we've played. Yeah, it's actually up there. And, like, this is not... That's not saying some weird... He's not, like, paying me to say that. I actually like this game. If, if anyone ever paid us to do anything, it would be greatly appreciated for one. And for two, we would... It would be obvious that we were being paid. We would not make it as serious as you would want us to. Nah. But not to say... That you shouldn't pay us for anything. You should definitely pay us for next. <laughs> we should start a donation button. Uh, yeah, Help no. Nathan get more cats. <sighs> like, I was about to, like, say, nah, nah, we're obviously. God, you suck at that. Shut the fuck up. There you go, there you go, there you yeah, go. Yeah, okay, so nope. this was definitely programmed in the game, the, the wall jumping. God, dude, what the fuck? <sighs> okay, hold on. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Okay. But yes, that's exactly. No what wonder you why you do. hated Sonic games. You would just buy more cats. I would actually get a fox. Ooh, like a fennec fox too. No, I fucking hate those. You hate fennec foxes? Yeah, they're fucking annoying. How? They literally just are too energetic for me. Dude, they're, they're too energetic for me. But like, I still love them. No, they're cute as shit. Don't get me wrong. I would love to experience a fennec fox. I don't really want one. Like a fox, on the other hand, I totally want that, or a corgi. 
Yeah, you and Corey, you got something going on. I would name him Ian. Or Ein. Ein. It's Ein. Ein the fucking Corgi. Would you get Ohio mushrooms? Probably. At least once. Just for, you know... Have you seen Cowboy Bebop? No. Okay. They get a dog high on mushrooms. They don't get a dog high on mushrooms. They... The dog gets himself high on mushrooms. The, the, uh, the weird little girl in that show... Um, yeah, I think I've explored everything in this room. Boy. It's a girl. Ed's a boy. Ed's a girl. Ed's a boy. Ed's totally a girl. Ed's totally a boy. Ed's totally a girl. Googling. Yeah, her name's like something something French apples. What? Her name's like French apples. French apples. Yeah, dude, I... S oh, hold on. Um, Cowboy Bebop. Ed's a girl, dude. Ed. Uh, Ed sent this planet. Gender. I, I, I don't know if I can do anything. I here. always thought Ed was a boy. Like, because it's too obviously, you know, too obviously a girl. So Ed, I, always, I always assumed it was that one character in the show that has to be... Yeah. Ed's like this weird character. They just Edward sent... Wong Hall, Pepela Tavrusky the Fourth. Yeah. Eduardo Wong Hall, Pepela Chibaruska Force, commonly called Ed... Colloquially known as Radical Edward and born on January 1st, 2058. As Francois Apple Deli is a child prodigy skilled in hacking from Earth. She is a comically eccentric teenage girl around 13 years of age. Son of a bitch. Yeah, there you go. It's like one of my favorite animes. And you don't even like it that much. I like the show. I just don't find it um, engaging. Well, don't get me wrong. Like It is one of the first of the uh, animes that that man started, I believe. And, uh, I think so. soon started the Samurai Shampoo, which, oh my god, Samurai Shampoo. I, I realize we're not doing anything, but we reached the end, and I just want there to be enough content G to justify the episode. Give oh, me there this. you go. Um, I am the Skeleton Man. To answer, to answer your confused look, Miss Sarah, there's an episode where everyone's, like, starving to death on the ship, and Ed just kind of leaves to go get food, and she ends up getting, she ends up finding a bunch of people trapped, in, or who are in, like, this, uh, mushroom illegal mushroom smuggling operation and she doesn't realize they're like drug mushrooms so she starts like she gets a duffel bag full of them and she the the corgi is always following her around because that's they hang out and the dog eats one and just like does like those little hops where like all four legs are going up at the same time just doop, 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 doop. just away into the distance um Try, try figuring out how to switch magic. Have you ever seen uh, Outlaw Star? Nathan? I have not. It, uh... It was sort of the same vein as Cowboy Bebop. It was about a... A guy who... Basically, a ship falls onto his lap. And he and a bunch of people start traveling through space and whatnot. So, I remember that show being amazing when I was a kid, right? But, mm -hmm. I only saw a couple episodes of it, and I watched the whole series. I saw the three best episodes. Breaking down a wall or crucial support structure can result in cave-ins, property damage, or serious injury. Hm. That was different when I read it. At first, I thought I was, like, walking backwards. I realized I was just jumping. Hmm. But, yeah, um... Oh, the ship, like, has arms. You can, like, grapple and stuff. What are we talking about again? This anime called Outlaw Star. Oh, okay, yeah. But, like, dude, I saw these... I saw, like, three episodes, and they were sick. And I always had this amazing idea of this anime. And I watched it. I'm like, yeah, these were the three best episodes by far. <laughs> like I, I think you only have one magic at a time. Yeah... But how do you switch it? You can't. Because really? I just bought this one, and then I bought the other one. There's gotta be a way. It wouldn't let me. There's gotta be. Because I just bought five. Whoa. Ghosties. Ghosties. To go with skeletons. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Seriously, right. a game we should try sometime. We should. Uh, ghouls and Ghosts, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, whatever the other one was. Regardless, you're gonna, like, fucking flip shit and kill everything. Probably. It is an extremely challenging game. Anyway, I think we're... 
almost at about what we can play here. Yeah, I can't do much else. So we just have a habit of doing of stopping at the most awkward times. I almost did it in four twenty. Like we, I was about to to call the episode and like the next bullet you shot killed the final boss. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. Or anything that happens in the show. I, I remember killing Shrek. You remember killing Shrek? I do. Okay. That fucking game was weird. That game was really weird. You advised me to play it. I did not do that. <laughs> Don't you fucking lie to these people. You were like, hey, Nathan, you want to play a really good game? That was about 420 Blaze of E3 And then Nathan the was year. like, well, well, yeah, sure. I guess we'll play it. My name's Nathan. I don't have really any insults backed up for myself because I'm not a very insulting person. I have high self-confidence. And Lead the way, oh, bony one. Oh, bony one. I had nothing. I had you nothing. suck. I know. I'm sorry. Anyway. Yeah, I think we're about done here. We're about done. Anything you would like to say before we uh, David get Stanley, <coughs> you finished this game. <coughs> I'm coming for you. For that tushy? Give that tushy touch. Sir, and everyone really should support this guy. Uh, play this game if possible. Which, I mean, I, I downloaded the demo for free. So it should still be free. And at least for the demo. And if not... If not, buy it. Fuck it, this game is great. I paid for it. I bought Demo. Dude, Demo's great. Alright, anyway, we're it's done here. I not play Demo, like, yeah. much. After I realized that there's so many expansions to it, I was just like, I'm so pissed off. <laughs> I was like, I'm not paying 99 cents for all 50 expansions. That is $50 you were getting from me on top of the $2 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you already got from me. Alright, anyway, David Stanley. <laughs> you the man. You the man. Later. Boy. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start cutting it out. You can't do that. That's my signature catchphrase. <laughs>